So how do we control them? Well, we've got some options for Johnson grass. For Johnson grass, we can use Outrider. Outrider will go out at 1.3 ounces per acre. Highly effective on Johnson grass. Safe on Bermuda, safe on Bahia. No growth reduction, and it's also gonna control the majority of the sedges that you have out there. The biggest problem with Outrider is that it will not control either of these other two grasses. So you gotta make for sure that it's Johnson grass that you're going after. Secondly, Outrider is not going to be a broad spectrum herbicide. You're gonna kill Johnson grass and sedges and not a lot else. So you better make sure you got Johnson grass because at 20 bucks an acre, if you don't, you're probably not gonna control anything else. But Outrider is very good on Johnson grass, causes no growth reduction. The Bermuda grass or the Bahia just keeps on going. Second option is Pastora. Pastora is also highly effective on Johnson grass, but it is Bermuda grass only. Again, it's got metsulfuron blended with it, and it will severely injure your Bahia grass. For Pastora to work, you really want the Johnson grass to have some growth on it. So anywhere around 12 to 18 inches tall, you want enough leaf material that I can get some herbicide on there and get the herbicide into the plant. Okay, I don't want to spray right after I've cut, because it's I got I need more leaf material than that. With Pastora, you can use one to 1.5 ounces of product. It's going to be in the 18 to 25 dollar an acre range depending on what rate you use. So it's a bit pricey but it's very effective. Now Pastora is also going to give you some other a lot more weed control than Outrider because the metsulfuron component kills a lot of weeds. It's also going to help you with sand burr and some other troublesome grasses. But Pastora is going to give you some growth reduction in your Bermuda. Expect about two weeks for that Bermuda to stop growing. It'll then overcome that herbicide application, blast right back, grow normally, and catch up. Okay, so don't be concerned that you slowed it down. It does catch up rather quickly. Third option is impose. For Johnson grass, we're looking at around four ounces. Impose is a good herbicide, kills sedges, kills crabgrass, kills vasey grass, kills a lot of stuff. But, and it's also the cheapest, it's going to be somewhere around $15 an acre. However, expect the Bermuda grass to stop growing for three to four weeks. You will lose one cutting. However, the grass will recover. It'll fill in all the spots where your dead grass used to be from your Johnson grass. You'll then have clean hay that's high quality and it'll move on, but it is going to stop growing. Do not put Impose on Bahia grass. If you spray Bahia grass with four ounces of Impose, it will not grow for four to six months. So it, it may not die, may not die, but it's going to not grow for about four to six months. We recommend it for use on highway roadsides so they don't have to mow, all right? So it shuts that plant down, period. All right, so those are your options for Johnson grass. For Vasey, we've got Impose, okay? That's one of our few options. What about and if we're going to use Impose, we've got to get the rate up. Well, I want to, we're going to have a minimum of six ounces. So that's even more Bermuda grass injury. And again, nothing, we can't use it on Bahia. We can use Pastora on Vasey, but Pastora is good but not great. Okay? And for the price of Pastora, for Vasey grass, it may not be your best option. Outrider is going to be a zero, so don't consider using Outrider. All right?
third option, third pro, third grass here. Back to our guinea grass. Mm. This one's fairly easy. Outrider doesn't work, Impose mm. doesn't work, Pastora doesn't work. We've got basically a spot treatment of Roundup. Mm. It's our only option. Mm. Okay. Mm. So if you've got guinea grass, the good news is your decision process is fairly easy because nothing works. All right. Turn the cows in on it. They love it. Turn yeah. the cows in on it, and particularly if it's small, it is quite nutritious. Absolutely. Questions about weedy grasses? Is that true of all those grasses? Are all they're all are all these nutritious? Johnson grass is. I've never seen any numbers on basic grass. I don't think you're going to have enough material there to really do a lot of good. But mm. guinea grass and Johnson grass are fairly productive and fairly nutritious. Mm. The problem with Johnson grass is you really start grazing it and it disappears. So that's, we brought it in as a forage. We found out the grace, best way to get rid of it is to graze it. The best way to turn it into a weed is leave it alone. So. <laughs>